Hello, this is Ian Dark with former world champion Richie Woodall. Live coverage coming up. He's the first opponent Vladimir has fought who's taller than him. Yeah. And he's actually weighs a couple of pounds. But I would question uh, this fella's quality of opponent who's got me Klitschko's. But nevertheless, he's strong, um, a decent punch if, it... if he can land it. A lot of <laughs> challengers find a real trouble getting to Vladimir Klitschko, including David Hay, of course. Vladimir Klitschko, only Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes have taken part in more World Heavy... Marios, the Viking! <laughs> Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko! The dominating opponents. Just trying this delaying tactic, right, boxers, but they're together now. You receive my instructions in the dressing room, man, and protect yourself at all times. All right? Let's touch gloves. I expect a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves. Let's touch them. Touch them. Let's go. Now, so often there's been a bit of bad blood in the build-up. Vax said one or two things which have not amused Vladimir. It's the East European takeover from the Americans of the heavyweight division, really. What has Vac got? What can he bring? Um, How is... and probably a longer reach, but gets through with a good one-two. That's positive, but that's the problem he with will the have. Jab. Vladimir in the red trunks, of course. Oh, but he's seemingly on the verge of retirement and a political career. Straight right hands and another one. He keeps dropping his left hand back and he keeps getting caught with that one. Clever. He's got to stand a little bit tall and keep that left hand up. Just finds it so very, very difficult to get to Vladimir Klitschko, such as is to even make an argument of this, I think, Vak. Klitschko's opening round. Banks in the corner. You mix up your punches. Good you mix straight up. work here from today. Klitschko, straight okay, down the middle, right hand. Back leg, it's a very mobile heavyweight in Klitschko, but there, the accuracy with those shots. Much as uh, some people want to see many hard fights that would leave a lot of wear and tear, in all honesty. That's a big crunching right hand that time from the man called Doctor. Well, you can see the, the confidence in Klitschko as well when he lands that right hand. And looks for the right hand, misses Trainer Emmanuel Stewart on Vladimir Klitschko. Remember when he fought David Hay, his father was very seriously ill in hospital and died and Downstairs shortly. a little bit with that right hand, he's overreaching now and again. He's landed it a couple of times and that's giving him the confidence. Sense prevails, but there might be money on offer for those two. A reminder that we have David Price's manager with us months and former world heavyweight champion Tim Witherspoon. Great to have him around again. And everyone turning up in their finery and paying for some very exposed. He's quite mobile for a, such a big fella. Olympic gold medal. It's all not bad for a guy who once said he wasn't really in love with boxing. <laughs> At the end of the day, you can only beat who's in the division and who's around, and they've cleaned up. I mean, he's just too far away, Vak, he's got to step in, just getting picked off here. This for Vak, only 14 of the 27 victims he's got had winning records, in other words, fighters who'd won more than they'd lost, so that tells its own story. A bit more, but by doing that... He's got to move his head, he's got to block that jab as he's coming forward. I think he's trying everything he knows back, but he just doesn't know enough. Never know, though. One moment, one right hand on the button. Heavyweights. Very, very clever, Klitschko. Just shutting the door on Vac every round. 
throw a little bit and start pull, pull these punches but together in combinations. Throw right into the body. You don't got to throw it hard. Just throw it right into the jab, right into the body, pull back. Make sure you pull back. Right into the body, pull back. Range. You hit him with it every time. And you also what an improvement the there's been though in Vladimir Klitschko. I mean, I was it's there, Corey Sanders, who spoke to us on the eve of the fight, and said, I'm retiring, you know, I'm just here for a bit. Back again, caught with that chopping right hand. This time, it's just really a question here of whether and when Vladimir Klitschko feels he's softened up back enough. To... And then while Vak is thinking, Klitschko's jabbing. And the problem is really, as he throws in another three punch combination. They don't show the Klitschko fights, they show the Hay one, but not many of the rest of them in recent times. They have an understatement. Here are the chance for Klitschko. He's caught by that right hand there, though. He's got him, we won back, and for a moment he was stung and hurt there. There's a change in the plot. That was the moment we were waiting for. And Vak gets a measure of encouragement right at the end of that round. So what have we here? What's from Vak? Don't come out that far. Definitely had an effect. This round, use your legs. Use your legs and just box him. This is the time to use your legs and just box him. That's all you got to do. That's all I want. I just want to see you boxing this round. Hold, holds on, buys a bit of time. Klitschko's trying to land the jab just to come back with a rock. fast right hand. Can he do it again, though? Or will that make Vladimir Klitschko to get a stoppage here? Ooh, terrific work there. One, two, three, four, five, six jabs in a row. Kicks has the contest. Goes on. Yeah, he's very clever at measuring distance, isn't he? Yeah. With How those. Vak having to eat up a lot of punches. They surely must have some effect sometime soon, you'd think. Not much has missed, has it? And he's trying to engineer a chance of that right hand again, but he's caught by quite a big looking right hand there. That just seemed to stiffen the legs a bit to me, that one. That was a good right hand. Very cautious now, Klitschko, but another good round for him there. Some people thought at least he's landed that, that one right hand. Yeah, here again, Klitschko just lining his opponent up. Left hand and the right comes through. More caution in this, in this round. There he is, hitting his opponent with two, three jabs. Oh, good shot. Great right hand, that was. Quick, wasn't it, as well? It's almost laser-controlled, it seems, at times. Just controlling it again behind that jab. It's like a big telegraph pole coming him up. Just stepped it up a little, hasn't he, in this round, I think. Klitschko, another right hand, thuds home. When will one of these have a bigger effect? And another one. Getting a bit unrelenting. Right counter coming back. Oh, look at these. Oh, lovely. This is about a six, seven punch combination. Oh. By a, a heavy shot as he was a few times early in his career. So big right hand, two throughs, looking for a finish there. Bell came at a very good time for back. Yeah. From this fellow that he's you just weakening a little bit huh? now. Yeah. Watching it can't be easy to watch. He's having to take a lot here on his life going for the heavyweight championship of the world. They don't come much bigger than that. And if he starts off quick in this round and starts hammering in these combinations again, there'll be three minutes of it and... Vak now. That one didn't quite land flush. Very brave. A bit of swelling just to the left of his eye. Eye on the cheek. And again. Can't miss. And again. Now, the referee has to start thinking about this a little more seriously. Huge hook in their body punches as well. Menace now by the heavyweight champion. Yeah, Klitschko senses the end here now. He can, he's really he's going for it now just for the stoppage. And he's just getting pounded in there now. Non-stop aggression. He might even look round at the referee and say to him, look, it's becoming a bit uncomfortable to watch this, more than a bit. Sustained pressure now from Klitschko. Body language is really bad there on the ropes, taking a lot of shots. He's out of his depth here. Yeah. 
and it's showing. Now, how much more does Eddie Cotton want to see of this? Vax so brave, oh, wow, yeah. If he wants to. Sylvester I think he'd give Klitschko a good bout, actually. <laughs> Lands with just a rare right hand there, does Vak. And then Klitschko, as you say. Get your rhythm, keep it the whole round, move him back. Yeah, move him back, just keep moving him Happy back. to stay out of harm's way. Miles and miles ahead on points. He really does just look there for the taking, doesn't he? Oh, got a little bit scrappy there, a bit naughty. I think he's kind of accepted he probably is not going to be able to stop Marish. And I would have to agree with him to a certain degree that, yeah, he should be stopping this type of opponent, and he hasn't done it. But he is a tough guy, isn't he? He's obviously, I mean, he's obviously got a fight. And... Oh, yeah. a slight cut as well. Yeah, he left. Hit down. Might be some rare work for him. Yeah. Another one with an even more spectacular effect. But it is all over a formality. Klitschko is going to hold on to his World Heavyweight Championships. Apart from that one right hand that you spoke about there, Ian, this fella just didn't stop his opponent here, but he couldn't do it. And I think you have to give a lot of credit to, to Vak. And still, unified heavyweight champion of the world, but the steel hammer, Vladimir. Well, the two American judges retained his world heavyweight titles in Hamburg tonight. Let's get more reaction now. Let's go back to the studio and Steve the Bunce. Is screaming and telling you how it is. See you in a second.